with yet another video. Now this one is a special unboxing video. And why is this a special unboxing video? Well, it's the Xbox One Elite controller and we're going to review it, not just unbox it. So that's cool. 10 out of 10. Now, I have already unboxed this. I haven't really I barely messed with it at all. I put the batteries in it and that's really it because I wanted to save the rest for the review video. My my family members wanted to see me unbox it, so yeah, you know. But anyways, guys, I guess really. <laughs> let's just let's just get started. Let's no time wasting. Also, sorry for the random shadows, just derpy shadows. All right. Let's do it. This is this is this is intense, bro. Oh. So yeah, I kind of had to put some of the, oh jeez, the whole thing just like had a derp. I had to put some of the stuff back into the box so everything just wants to fall apart. All right, anyways, let's not get to this yet. Here's the boy himself, the man. It comes with a cool carrying case too. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's the Xbox logo. Yeah, you can see it. Anyways, uh, so let's we're gonna compare that to the original Xbox One controller as well. So pros and cons kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe. All right, let's unzip this thing. All right, let's do a countdown. Oh, let's bump the camera there. All right, three, two, one. There he is in all of his glory. All right, guys, let's let's really actually let's get a really good angle for this. Ah, I'll pick you guys up. Here it is, the Xbox One Elite controller. Now I put everything back together because you know you know me. Got to put everything back together. I didn't take any of these out, so these are all good. I haven't used these, so let's. Let's try the D-pad. I haven't actually tried this D-pad thing. Oh, it comes out, right? Ah, yes, I see. Oh, and it's like, a, oh yeah, it's magnetic. Oh, and these come out? Yep. Everything here is magnetic, guys, so... I think that's pretty legit. So, let's pull this guy out. Now, let me actually put you guys back... Uh, out of vloggy... vlogger mode. Let me, uh... Move my chair. Uh, make noises. May be noisy, Bows. Just be really noisy. Let's move the box. Also, guys, we're going to unbox this, too. This came with the controller for some reason. I don't know. When we ordered it. Anyways. This thing is epic. Oh, my goodness. So, as you guys know, we've got back paddles. Now, when you press them... Hey, let me let, hey, take a listen. I don't know if you can hear that. It's not as clicky as these, obviously. They're, yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, just <laughs> the fact that there's back paddles in general is pretty cool. And you have two settings here for, like, controller settings and stuff. Anyways, let's take this D-pad off. Let's go classy. Yeah. Let's just, let's just, oh, listen to that. Glorious. Let's compare. Now, the D-pad on the Xbox One Elite controller is better to me than the original one because the original one is kind of sunk in there a little bit more, and it's made of plastic, so it's not as high quality. But just, oh, totally legit. Anyways, let's get the Elite controller here. Now, the back paddles can be removed, guys. You can take them out. We'll get to that in a minute. But anyways, you got the controller. And you can turn it on. Because I put the batteries in it, like I said. Whoa. Let's actually take the batteries out. Yeah, batteries included, guys. When you get one of these, now you got to get like one in the box and everything, I, get, I imagine. So, you get batteries. Batteries included. I imagine fully charged batteries. Because <laughs> why would you not charge batteries? Goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, let's put this thing... Let me get it on screen for you guys. Boop. Now here's a really cool thing. You got these little things right here, all right? You can boop, boop. So now see right here. Let's get a good angle for this. See me putting down the trigger. 
I want you. Alright, let me get the button. Compare. There's a little switch. You can change how, like for racing games, you can have it so you don't have to pull triggers down so much. So that's pretty cool. That's an up. Now the buttons. I. Where's the controller I got here? Okay. I'd have to say they're very smooth. They're a bit smoother to me. I don't know if it's just me, but dude, the the X Y B A buttons are just really nice. That's a hundred fifty dollar controller. I mean, what would you expect? Anyways, I th I'm not sure if I'm right, but this if I'm correct, these are PlayStation themed little uh, analog sticks, so you can put those in. Now. Here's one, I don't know if you guys would like this or not, they're really long. Goodness. Now, they might look really long on camera. They're probably not as long as you think, but, I mean, they are kind of long, to be honest. Let's compare. Comparison. They're a little bit taller. I'm not sure if, uh... Now, if you guys like the tall ones, but you don't like the playstation he kind of themed... I don't know if that's PlayStation. If I am, please correct me in the comments. Uh, anyways. Uh, now, if you guys don't like that, you want tall original Xbox One, you can have those as well. See? If you look at those. You can like literally go under it. It's so tall. What the heck? These ones are... I feel like they're taller. Okay, let's, kinda, let's do a comparison. Oh! I didn't even notice. Look at that. It's even taller. So if you want to go... If you want to go like the pros, dude. Dude, like the press, dude. dude. Oh. Let's actually go to the other D-pad. Boop. Boop. Now, for 2D platformers, this is completely pointless, obviously. Now, if you really wanted to, you could pull it off and just play with the green thing, but I do not recommend that. That feels awful. Sorry if I sound kind of quiet. I don't know. My mic is just like, no! Anyways, this is definitely good for some 3D, ga or 3D games. 2D platformers and stuff like that. Not going to do you much, so I recommend going for the normal D-pad. Boop! I probably won't be using the analog d-pad much that's what i like to call it or you could just play like this <gasps> which feels absolutely horrible so i would not recommend that so let's put the normal analog sticks back on so you can just play like classy bro blah, blah, blah. now this controller when we first got it was cold like what the heck like as soon as it came in it was just like really cold it's like what the even anyways uh... my tv just turned off and it kind of Maybe jump there a little bit. So, I don't see much new on the back. I mean, it does have a... Now, if you look at this Xbox One normal controller, it does not have a headphone port. So you have to buy an accessory, but this one does have a headphone port right there. <laughs> For 150 bucks, it better have one. Anyways, so you can synchronize with the green button. I don't know, the green button just kind of seems off for me. Anyways, now here's one slight problem. If you just want to get under here... Uh, uh, you'll pull the things out. Now, here's the thing. You might be wondering, can you put these little thingies under the on the bottom and put the longer ones on the top? No, you cannot. I'll show you what happens when you do that. I mean, you can put... You can only have two, though, is the thing. You can, but you can... Now, you can do this. That is possible. That works. You can do that. Now, if you try putting these ones on the bottom... As you can tell, you're going to be pressing two buttons. Now, if you want, you can be... I don't think it'll press two at the same time, but it won't work. It goes over it. So, yeah, guys. Can't do that. Just too bad, so sad. Let me put it back together. This thing's just like... Let me get on camera. I don't want you guys left out. Guys, I, <laughs> I'm so excited to use this thing. Now, let me tell you. Just a quick tip. This. See this? This goes on top when you put it in. See this little bump right here? This needs to be facing upward when you put it in the controller, so let me show you. This bump right here needs to be facing up, not down, or else it won't fit properly. 
So I'll just keep that in mind, guys, in case you get your own Elite controller. I have a friend who has an Elite controller, which is the Bologna 01 on Xbox. He has actually an Xbox One Elite, too. But anyways, that's besides the point. Actually, shout out to him. Annotation to ISO Saucer's channel, slash the Bug No One channel, right there. Go subscribe to him, because you should be supportive people, man. You should support people. You should support my friends. Now, you might also be wondering, is this metal? No, that is not metal. Now, I'd say these triggers are pretty swagger. Now, quickly, I'm just going to pause the video for a second because I need to clean up a little. I've cleaned this up. It's all the And I need to make sure the video is not going to just delete itself because sometimes it's like, oh, it's too big. You can't save this. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, we're back. Got nine gigabytes of space left on my hard drive for my tablet. Yeah, this, guys, I don't have, like, a legitimate camera yet. Uh, Ah, uh, sorry guys, I'm... Uh, something I forgot to do. Alright, there we go. Alright. Back to business. Where should we continue? Uh, honestly, dude, this thing's amazing. Now let's go continue to this. Now this had the batteries in it, so the, you get the uh, Duracell batteries. And it comes in this. So you open it from the top, obviously. And what's inside, the batteries will fall out. Not first. You get this incredibly long braided uh, charger. Now, dude, this thing's so cool. Alright, so you take off this little thing, and dude, oh, oh it is incredibly long. I, guys, I, I don't know if I'm right or not, but I thought this thing was like 12 feet long, but I don't think it really is. I will measure it. Not 12 feet. <laughs> More like 6 feet, maybe? Something like that. You plug it into the controller. We're not going to do that now. I'll uh, plug it into my... Oh, jeez. Plug it into my... Com <laughs> I am just breaking everything. Also, we didn't go into the manuals, but... Tch, there's manuals for stuff. Who gives a poop about those? No one reads manuals. It's just a controller, anyways. Yeah, you can configure this whole controller, like every single thing you can imagine on the Xbox One. Now, I can't show that, because our Xbox One is in our living room. And, and there's people in there using it and junk, so can't do that. Oh, well. But I can use it on my computer. And I don't know if I'll do that. Ah, I probably will. I'll... I'll probably not screen cap it because I want to show you guys like the actual controller and me using it. Now, <sighs> really, it's cool. You can just take one of these off. You can put this one on the bottom or this thing. You can go crazy, guys. And you can change this so the triggers aren't long or whatever you really want. Whatever your heart desires. This controller is just ridiculous. Also, you have two settings, if I didn't already mention. Two settings right here. Now, let's move on to the analog sticks. Let's go to the tallest one and try these on. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Look at these things. Oh, my goodness. These things are so long. Hi, right, guys. I'm playing some Minecraft. Welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Da -da 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 -da. I personally think these are... <laughs> they look so weird. Like, it looks normal from the front, but then you go... <sighs> it looks so dumb. Let's compare it to smallest to tallest. Yeah. Let's go small, medium, and large, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. I'll put them on my table and show you. Oop. Uh, I can line them up perfectly. Let me get my face. No face reveal. Not allowed. Anyways, you get kind of get the main idea. They're kind of short, yeah. Uh, the short one, tall, medium one, tall one. It's ridiculous. So let's go for the medium one, like the I, I imagine the PlayStation E ones. Like, see, it's kind of like a bumpy one. I don't know. I think I think they do it on the Wii U Pro controller. <laughs> These ones are still kind of tall looking. I mean, they're not that tall off camera, but. <sighs> If they could make these shorter, 
That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty neat, I'd have to say. Now, I don't... I I wouldn't know this. Oh, also, I think this is metal. I don't know. Any, I don't think that is, actually. But anyways... No, it is? No, actually, yeah, it has to be, because it's magnetic. I don't know. <laughs> I might be stupid. Oh, no. My brain. Ah, it doesn't work. Okay, anyways. Let's not goof about. Ugh. Now you guys know why this video is probably kind of long. Anyways... I don't know if these are my favorite ones. Like, they probably would be my favorite ones if they were, you know, like, the short ones. Like, these ones. I like the shorter ones. I'm not all about the big ones. Probably just because I'm not used to it. It's just probably that. But I really do like the dark buttons. Just, like, compare. Let's get back to the Xbox One's normal controller. It's the D-pad and the analog sticks. The analog sticks. Guys, let me tell you. The analog sticks on these things are so smooth. Honestly, I'm just going to say right now, this product is worth its $150. So the analog sticks on the Xbox One controller, pretty good, you know. These ones are a little worn out. But you see these buttons, you know, they're all colorful. And they have these super dark, intense buttons, bro. So, I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> the recording was just like, I'm just going to stop now, lol. XD get wrecked. Let's move all this stuff out of the way. I didn't quite finish my moving around, did I? <laughs> Alright. So, really? I, after using these enough, these have actually started just really working for me. But, this controller is amazing. You should buy <laughs> You should buy this thing. It is incredible. So, you know, you're just playing games and you're like, Ah, press a button back here. Bleh. I don't know. <laughs> I've just gone random at this point. Uh, and yeah, this is metal. It's all like metal, really. Don't leave it in the sun, guys. Terrible idea. So here's what it looks like normally, like in pictures and stuff. I don't know why they wanted to do that. I guess, why? whatever. That's their choice, not mine. Oh, actually. Let's try our little chat pad accessory. I have two chat pads if you guys didn't know. I don't think you guys did know. That's actually... <sighs> Dang, that does not go on, does it? Let's try. I can't put this thing on, guys. Alright, let's get the original chat pad. It's gonna randomly pop up in my hand. Ten out of ten. Oh, oh, well, there he is. Nope, I hit something. My hand teleported too. Okay, so here's the chat pad we did in the other unboxing. Combine with the Elite Controller. Let's see if this actually works. What, guys? I didn't. I don't know why I think this really, but chat pad works. 10 out of 10, you could do your chat patty business on the Elite Controller. That is cool. I thought maybe the paddles would just get in the way or something. I don't know. I'm probably just being weird. I'm pretty sure they designed it. Look, they literally designed it so you could use it. You guys know me. Now, next thing we're going to actually do, guys, is... Sorry for all the cuts, just the random cuts, but... I'm gonna put my computer back. My computer was right here. I, cause you know, I gotta get the setup ready so I could do this. But yeah, we're gonna get my computer so we can try this on my PC, and I'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back, and whew. Ooh. ouch. Ugh. All right. So. Here's the Elite Controller. Now we're going to plug it into my computer. Now I did previously have a th an Xbox One controller plugged in, which is that one I showed you a minute ago, but it's kind of not here right now. Alright, uh, I'm trying to do this without tipping my tablet over because my tablet's recording, and this inconvenientness is just inconvenient and inconvenient. Now, I just want to quickly talk while I get this uh, set up is guys there's this w guy called mentally insane okay now he used to be a good guy but then suddenly he just turned all blah and he keeps disliking my videos constantly it's so annoying it is so annoying there's going to be another dislike on this video from him now it is i think he has two accounts and he's doing this 
and it, it's just really annoying so guys if you could like the video just to get him out of here show him who's bows <laughs> insert clap here clap 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 anyways <laughs> I wonder if I'm actually I wonder if I actually did that while I was editing this oh me alright let's plug this epic controller in guys I'm not sponsored by the way I'm just saying so I'm not saying this just to oh it rumbled <gasps> hey guys it rumbled also it does turn on without batteries so it's kinda have to install the driver cause this is a different thing so it's installing the driver oh my goodness it's legitness Ugh. I should have started recording once I had everything set up. What? What even? Oh, there it is. All right, we're in. Now I have X Patter here, which clearly does not like my. Uh, it's like, what are you doing? This doesn't work. All right, let me open up some stuff. Oops, <laughs> guys, this is just going crazy. Oh, jeez, that was loud. Let's mute that. All right, go down. And it should load, I would imagine. <laughs> what the heck is this it's garbage? Just close. Get out of here. I don't want to see your face. Stop. Stop. I could launch Battle Block Theater if you guys want me to. This D pad is not doing it for me. Let me just. Whoop. Let's get the original D pad. Alright, nope, X Patter's open. I don't think it likes my controller, to be honest. It says it's ready to use and everything. Alright, let's try profile. No, I'm just all. No. Okay. So apparently, X Patter does not like my elite controller I just is it vibrating no okay um apparently x patter isn't a huge fan of x patter so <laughs> let's just launch up battle block theater why not <laughs> screw calling it's controlling the computer Steam must be running to play this. G I get it, man. I thought I launched them. Oh, cha. Oh, I'm check guys. Like, like, chat. That's so annoying. It's like, I guess I'm gonna have to do something to configure it. Well, whatever. It's legitness, guys. It's just, th this is braided. Is, is that not awesome? I know I said that already. But hey. Bruh. Come on, Steam! I don't have time for this garbage. Ugh. Ugh, this is this is just gay. Ho, gay. Actually, let's just go to Battle Block Theater right there. All right, let's just talk about the chat pad and stuff. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a card right there. Card. More info. Amazing. Ten out of ten. Let's just click it or whatever. And. Oh, we're signing into Steam. Okay. This is just, like, it's good. I think it's a good unboxing. If you guys want to see my unboxing chat, I mean, it's not a full unboxing, like a legit unboxing to me, but hey, whatever. So, this, you know, <laughs> this is the Elite Controller. I'm pretty sure that's a legitimate unboxing. And this is a review. We're at the review part right now. But, if Steam would love, <laughs> then maybe we wouldn't have problems. Well, there's Steam. Let's just launch Battle Lock Theater. Sometimes Steam, you know, oh, there it goes. This is so annoying. Come on. Give me a chance here, guys. Move this off screen. T for teen. What the heck? Oh, let's just have some awkward silence. Oh yeah, this is intense, bro. Damn. Oh, what the? Oh, 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 jeez. 
noise. <laughs> I just noticed the yeah, pad adults do things. All right, let's go to normal mode. Yes, I have a legitimate head of myself. It's legitness, guys. It's legitness. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not screen capping this, but I want to show you guys I'm actually using the controller. Oh, so apparently this paddle right here is the Y button. This one is throw things. Okay, so these ones, so I can... That's weird. I'm not even using the A button right now. This is ridiculous. It's intense. It's intense, guys. It's intense, guys. It's intense. It's intense. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That was random. Okay, so let's just let's just not even press the X button, you know, <laughs> thug life. Let's actually get my controller more on screen so you guys can get an idea of what I'm doing. Let's actually try playing with the gigantic. Let's just try let's try playing with nothing. Oh, oh, please kill me. Please spare me. That is awful. All right, let's try playing like this. Dang it, I keep pressing these paddles. What does this one do? Okay, that's a weapon. Nope, I guess we're going to chapter one. Stupid. Stupid. So, psh, I guess. Oh, yeah. I, playing Battle Lock Theater with a giant analog stick just. I don't know. That just. Ugh, I can't do it. Let's go back to legitness. Let's actually get the other D-pad in here. And if you guys don't know, I play a lot of Battle Block Theater. That's my thing. Alright. I am taking these paddles off. This is so annoying. Jeez. Yeeyumsh. Like yetness. Okay. No paddles, because those things are annoying. <laughs> Alright, well. I don't know what to say. This is pretty awesome. Now playing with this D-pad. Oh, I can spam really fast with this thing. Uh, but guys, just, 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 just don't, you don't, no, just no. You don't play this game. You don't play a 2D platform with that. You just don't do it. Just don't do it. All right. Let's get in a comfortable position. I mean, I can't. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> It was just like, screw this. Whoa. The game has just started to lag all of a sudden. Hmm. What the heck? That was weird. The game was just lagging. Alright, let's sexy switch our weapon. If you guys don't know, you can switch between weapons in the PC version of Battle Black Theta. Dude, I could wreck people on Muckle with this. If you guys don't know, I'm actually ranked 29 on the Muckle leaderboards. But yeah, guys, um, I might wrap this video up. I don't know. But I gotta say, this is definitely worth the money, alright? This controller is insane. Play, you, got, you play your first-person shooters, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, whatever. This controller will cut it. This controller is insane. But anyways... I might, I might make another video on playing it with Xbox One, but that might not be in a, for a while because people are constantly like, just in the way of that, and they just like, not. Nah, I'm not trying to be rude, <laughs> but dude, yes, <laughs> that's so weird. I don't know. All right, but guys. I don't know. Not much else to really do on this. Like, I mean, I've viewed the controller and everything. Let's like actually take the chat pad off. We gotta get that epic experience. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It just keeps derping out. It's just like, I'm done. Oh, I'm pressing the Windows button by accident. Oh, dang it. Guys, I... I don't know what to say. This thing's amazing. With this braided thing you could really get stuff done mate really get stuff done you know what I mean mate you know what I mean but yeah guys I'm sorry I can't see that very well but 
I didn't want to screen cap, but I wanted you guys to know I'm using the controller. Let's get this thing on. Because I don't have two cameras I can really use to show you guys. Because this one right here won't work. <laughs> I would do that. I would definitely screen cap and not screen and, sc and show you guys a controller gameplay, but I can't do it. It just. This camera won't work. Let's actually move this up a little bit. Alright. So, guys. Really, I just want to show you guys me playing Battle Block Theater with this thing. I really love this controller. This controller is worth the 50 bucks. Now you can conf switch this. I don't think that's going to do anything for me on a PC because I haven't really configured it at all. So, yeah, I'm, let's actually check quickly. Oh, get this off screen. Let's quickly check the controls. Oh, yeah, can't change those. Alright, well, that's about it. That's about it for this video. This controller is worth it. All I have to say that. That's all I gotta say, bro. Worth every penny. Now I didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> Lol. But anyways, there's the. Uh, yeah, I just want to show last stuff. I just wanted you guys to. I wanted to tell you everything I could about this controller because some things I watched reviews on this controller and just there's things people missed out and I. I felt like I covered some of that stuff for you guys. But anyways. Great controller. I'm rubbing it on the on my ugh, my table. It feels weird. Anyways. Thank you for watching this video. And like I said, this guy keeps disliking my videos. It's really frustrating. So if you could like the video to get him just to show him we are better than him. That would just be epic. So yeah, I really, mean, there's not much else to say about this controller. Oh, actually, let's try playing with the shortened... Uh, oh. Oh, that is awful. Oh, duh, fix this. I, I changed the triggers to res respond quicker. Alright, that's better. Anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. So, like I said, please like that video. Get that guy out of here. I've repeated myself like a million times. I'm just so excited to use this controller, guys. It's legit. Anyways. And then maybe if you want to subscribe for possibly more stuff like this, or just really subscribe for supportiveness. I mean, it's not like my subscribing to me is going to harm anything, right? I mean, it's supportive, and I don't think your subscriptions are going to be flooded. <laughs> I upload like once every couple of days, so, plus, my videos, I would say, I wouldn't think are that bad. I mean, I don't screen cap everything. I do screen, screen cap some stuff. But, hey, it's no big deal. You get the idea. You can kind of see what I'm doing. Let's actually change my head. Guys, you're going to be so annoyed by this. I legitimately did this to troll my friend. <laughs> Something came in the mail today. These nuts got you. <laughs> Uh, that's just stupid. Hey guys, duh, 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 duh. Anyways, let's get let's get back to what we're doing. So subscribe if you would like to be supportive and all that good stuff, you know. And you know, like video. What else can you do? Not comment. Uh, stuff. Just stuff. You know, not really anything. To say maybe what you thought of this review, what you thought I didn't point out, or whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.